everyone. Welcome to Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. I'm Reverend Sharon Ketchum. I'm here with Winnelee Z. Hi, Winnelee. Hello, Reverend Sharon and everyone. Yes, welcome. Welcome. It's so much fun to join together across the ethers. I, I think of Charles Fillmore talking about the ethers and stuff, having no idea uh, what Unity would grow into, especially in 2020. Well, here at Unity, we have a mission to spiritually awaken to our oneness with God, with each other, and with all creation. And as we hold true to that collective vision and that individual vision, we see a world powerfully transformed through the growing movement of a shared spiritual awakening. And I truly believe shared is the most important part that we have to understand. It's not like finding the right and perfect answer. It's about honoring ourselves and each other, whatever path we're on and wherever we are on that path. So let's set the tone this morning with an ecumenical prayer as we affirm together, the enlightenment of the Buddha shines within us. The compassion of the Christ shines through us. The power of Jehovah strengthens and guards us. The presence of Allah surrounds and guides us. Wherever we are, the Tao is, and all is God. And of course, unity, our building is closed, but unity is not. We do offer a circle of support here out in front of the offices, copies of the Daily Word and some other uh, inspirational booklets. Certainly our prayer team is very active um, and very called upon these days to support. It seems like we're more conscious of supporting each other in prayer uh, during this pandemic. And uh, if, if you need help or have questions, just call the office and, and we'll see what we can do to get things um, supportive for you. Time to practice on self hugs. Mm -hmm. At least we can self support. Yes, cross our arms, touch those shoulders and give ourselves a love that we need to give to anybody else. God, it's so important to stay practice up on that. Every time I see a TV show where there's crowds of people and they're touching and going, no, you can't do that. You know? <laughs> it just, you get tuned in, social distance, social distance. And of course, you know, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, we really gotta <sighs> practice that. So our God bucket, what a week, what a week. Um, Want to pass uh, me yours? Sure. Let me pass this over to you. There, you got it? Got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Your bucket word, white vote. Yeah. It's, and there's been so many analysis going on. And I, I also started taking a class this week um, called Waking Up White. It's inspired by the book. gives us a platform to talk about it, knowing that the work we're doing is the white race has to really do the work because we're the ones that have had the white privilege and everything. And, and, and with all the analysis of the voting, and I heard them say, well, we're going to talk about the white vote. And it really struck me. You never hear the white vote. You hear the black vote. You hear the Latino vote. You hear, the, you know, the Mexican because of the border states, people coming, you know, the immigrants. Um, and realizing that it just remind me once again, that this is that white privilege. We consider ourselves the standard, so we don't normally talk about our uh, the white vote per se. It's just like one more one more layer. We just, as a white person, I just assume so much and don't even realize I'm assuming it. Um, mm. Understood. I hear you. Yeah. Wow. So what'd you get this week? Very aligned with what I have to oh. share with you as well. Here it comes. Ready? Oh. Got it? Uh, okay. Oh, kind. This needs to be a work of the week. Yeah, okay. And very similarly to your share of what you're learning in that course, Sharon, is Milagros Phillips continued to teach us in her classes of no matter what color our skin is, we all have oppression in some way on our mm. journey and trauma in our body. And so the word that kept coming to me this week on my own journey was kind. And that's the daily word is kindness. <laughs> it was before I saw that. It, it simply was in my process for me healing me to start here and be kind to myself. And then I was looking at the word kind. I love words. Mm -hmm. And that the fact that kin is in the word. Kind. Oh, 
Oh, and, nice, yeah. And what Milagros always teaches every single week's class is that we are all one family. So this kinship of, of dancing with family, dancing mm -hmm. with whatever truth is revealed and whatever unfolds in, in the emotion ocean, <laughs> the <laughs> agreeing yeah. to disagree, which is our, it, it just so many woven yeah. truths. Yeah. So kind is my word. Nice. Kin. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess there's more classes to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I sometimes I get overwhelmed with, I don't, you know, I feel like we're changing things at the actually almost a cellular level of our body because it's been so ingrained since birth. Um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot. Okay, here's to another week of learning and growing and, and being kind. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. All righty. Let's take a moment to bless our neighbors. Whatever faith, whatever color, whatever, whatever <laughs> they are. We know that God is a love that has no end and a power that knows no bounds. God's healing power of divine life is restoring healing, revitalizing our world in this very moment. We let go of any fears or anxieties, and we affirm that all are safe, healthy, and protected. We bless all those who support us in maintaining radiant, vibrant health. We express divine life in all we think, say, and do. We bless our global family with radiant health, peace of mind, and abundant love. And so it is. Amen. Oh, Dave, speaking of the daily word, I'm going to turn this over to you, Winnelly. Wonderful. Today's daily word is oh. kindness. And I got to go back. Sorry. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Inspired by the prophet Micah, who wrote, What does God require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly? with your God. The word kindness triggers feelings of warmth, connection, and love in our hearts. We smile as we recall ways that friends have shown us kindness. We feel again the gratitude and blessings we receive in these moments. Gratitude, love, and a beautiful awareness of connection fill our hearts and minds in a remarkably similar way when we remember the kindness we've shared. The movement of electrons through a wire creates a current of flow. As kindness moves from person to person, it creates a flow of divine love. Both giving and receiving are essential to this current of love. So we look for opportunities to share acts of kindness. We welcome with a grateful heart the kindness others share with us. Let us affirm together, I flow with divine love as I give and receive kindness. Oh, good one, good one. And let's take a moment to bless Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. I keep thinking I should call this our self-blessing because we are, all of us collectively, in the ethers, Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. Oh, we're just jumping all over the place here today. Okay, <laughs> let's affirm together. Open to deeper spiritual understanding, Unity Spiritual Center resolves and heals without struggle or strain. We handle our affairs and decisions with good judgment and positive, bold conviction. We are divinely guided to right action and innovative solutions in sacred synchronicity. Aligned with spirit, we are prospered and whole as a community and as individuals. And so it is, amen. Oh yeah, we continue on our core values, Lily. I love this core value. Our personal and community commitment is to agree and disagree in love. 
In order to do this authentically, we need to engage in three key activities. One, we need to accept conflict. Hmm. We cannot work through it until we acknowledge that conflict exists and it is a normal human condition. Two, we need to accept truth. We endeavor to see conflict as symptomatic of what's missing in our intention to create authentic community. And authentic peacemaking is creating a pathway to a personal experience of God. And three, we commit to prayer, both the act of prayer and the intention of listening to hear both the still small voice and the needs in the voice of another. Let us affirm together. We accept conflict. We accept truth. We commit to prayer. So beautiful. And look, I just, I love the synchronicity as this came up this month. Uh, in our and I audience. love that image of the jellyfish. Oh, is that cool? <laughs> Some would be afraid of jellyfish. I love them. <laughs> oh, go back. Yeah, I just thought, you know. Look at how beautiful they are. <laughs> it looks like they're in conflict, but they're really moving together. Like they're not, anyway. They're magnificent. I wonder what kind of dialogue's going on with them. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> You're in my lane. <laughs> Flow. So just a reminder that we um, are not doing in-person gatherings at least until the end of 2020. We want to make sure there's enough PP, um, PPE that um, there's a vaccine or a uh, an effective treatment that's available and that numbers are going down over several weeks consistently before we we um, start coming together in person. But we are continuing with our prayer circle classes and of course the Sunday spiritual experience and you can get dates and times for all those things on our website. There's often announcements on our Facebook page too. So we are being guided to the highest good. We want to protect not only ourselves but each other in this. Yeah. Okay, and one fun thing we are doing, I'll move our picture over here, we're doing a Thanksgiving reverse pre-advent calendar. So like the Christmas advent calendar where you open each day as it gets closer, we ha have a calendar up where you collect a food item for 25 days and then take the items over to the Fledges an Outdoor Food Pantry or the food bank or a food pantry near you. There's lots of details for things to think about when you're picking up food, but anything is appreciated. And and for those of us that, you know, still have our jobs, still have our homes um, that are surviving through this, uh, it's really kind <laughs> to keep on the kindness. And, and also, what a blessing to be able to help somebody, to share the good that we have with, with somebody else. So I hope you'll think about that if you haven't uh, done that already. I took over. The, it was so much fun getting all the different things. So it's, it's fun, too. It's fun. <laughs> And Thing Called Life, I'm going to turn this over to you, Winnelly. Um, I know this song was written by Faith Rivera. You're getting your uh, band warmed up there. Uh, okay, Faith writes such great music. Um, I'm going to turn it over to you. Today is the day I will change my luck. I will find three pennies and they'll be heads up. I will walk like a queen in my tennies and jeans. Cause I know where I come from. From the stars and the sun, from that magical one. I am part of this thing called life. Yeah, from the known to unseen, everything in between I am part of this thing called life I'm one with this thing called life Yeah, today is the day I'll remember to see Only good, only God happening through you and me I will not forget all the treasures do me Cause I know where I come from from. from the stars and the sun, from that magical one, I am part of this thing called life, yeah. From the known to unseen, everything in between, I am part of this thing called life. I am one with this thing called life. Yet today is the day I'll be more of myself, of my skin, where I've been. No more pull, simply flow as I go Cause I know where 
and troll around and skip absolutely and do it celebrate celebrate <laughs> life all this stuff going on awesome awesome thank you thank you thank you well today we um have a special guest speaker coming up Deidre Francois from Canada she says her name much more beautifully than I do I don't have a great French accent <laughs> but I I hope you'll join us for part two with uh, Deidre and some music and a message and a lovely meditation um Binge watch us and watch us all together. Meantime, stay safe, stay happy, stay well, enjoy this thing called life. See yes. You next week. <laughs> Thank you.